Information and communication technology has been a singular tool of empowerment in the 21st century. The internet has empowered people with its reservoirs of knowledge. Smart devices have made this knowledge available to countless people. And social media networks have shrunk distances between people. Perhaps the biggest wave of change has come in the area of social justice. How has ICT become an agent of social change? Let's explore. Over almost two decades, India's IT revolution has been sweeping across the nation. While it has transformed the lives of those who live in big cities and occupy the upper economic strata of society, the true potential of information and communication technology, or ICT, is when it reaches India's poorest and most remote communities. Banjari village, 30 kilometers from Raipur, the capital of Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh is home to over 25 million people, many of whom belong to tribes like Gond. This region is resource-rich, yet socio-economically backward. From literacy to healthcare to proper infrastructure like roads and electricity, many essential services are yet to reach the people in adequate measure. Unfortunately, it is these very voices which are largely ignored by popular news media and newspapers. Small number of people decide uh, what is news, what we will be hearing or what we will not be hearing. So people living in forests, people living in remote areas, when they want to say no to something, when it goes against the wishes or against the interest of the powerful people, who control media, then those voices are not given space to. And when uh, their voices are not heard, their problems don't get solved, then they look for support. And that support many a times are not a non-violent support. Welcome to CG Net Swara. आपके गांव में कोई पत्रकार है तो आप लोग पत्रकार बनना चाहते हैं जिसको हम क्या बोलेंगे बोलकार अ यूनिक इनिशिएटिव दैट यूजेस आईसीटी टू इंश्योर दैट एवरी वॉइस इज हर्ड अपने मोबाइल में अपने आपके पास जो व्हेन यू योरसेल्फ टेल अस योर विलेजेस प्रॉब्लम थ्रू योर मोबाइल फोन वी विल रिलीज इट ऑन सीजी नेट स्वरा इट विल रीच द ऑफिसर्स इन द सिटीज द सीईओ एंड बीडीओ once it reaches them, they'll be able to resolve your issues. It's a radio station, a news channel, and a public announcement system all rolled into one. My name is Samde Usendi, Gram Mehra, Tehsil Pakanjur, Jila Uttar Bastar Kankar Chattisgarh Kaniwasi. At its heart is inexpensive technology and simple ICT devices that just about all citizens have access to. मोबाइल फोन्स पढ़ाई नहीं करने से भी मोबाइल समझ जाता है बच्चे को बच्चे को बोलना मिस कॉल करके दे वो मेरे को ये नंबर में इन अ स्टेट विद लेस दैन 0.7 परसेंट इंटरनेट यूजर्स इट इस दिस डिवाइस दैट फाउंडर सुब्रांशु चौधरी फाउंड मोस्ट रेवोल्यूशनरी मोबाइल फोन इस द टूल व्हिच पीपल हैव सो so you go to any remote village, uh, as we do in Bastar area or Adivasi areas, you'll find uh, many families having mobile phone. The idea is simple. Users dial the CG Net Swara number and hang up once the call goes through. Then they receive a call on their personal mobiles. CG Net Swara when they pick up, they get to hear the top four news stories of their area in their own Gondi or Hindi language. Mobile ki madam ki samata sunne wale sabhi surtaon ko namaskar. Saathiyon mein Govind Pandru baatchit kar raha. The news cycle changes every time a new story comes in to replace the first one. And in this way, locals can stay abreast of what's going on. Dopeer tak pahunchne wale the, ek 
CG Net Swara or the voice of Central Gondwana started in 2010. BBC reporter and founder Subranshu Chaudhary, who grew up in this region, wanted to build a news based network that would voice the concerns of the tribal community. Can we create a democratic model in journalism, in communication? That's the experiment we are trying to do. Chaudhary joined hands with Bill Thies, an MIT engineer who had recently worked on a technology called AudioWiki. AudioWiki was a digital platform where any user could publish audio content to a wider audience. The backbone of this technology was IVRS or Interactive Voice Response System. You may have encountered IVRS when you call a toll-free number for customer service or technical support. A series of recorded messages takes you through a list of options that help you seek solutions to your problems. For balance and recharge related support, press 2 for network related support. CGNet Swara takes this IVRS model one step further. Users can not only listen to the news, they can also contribute by reporting local concerns. All they have to do is call the CGNet Swara number, press the correct option and record their report. पानी की बहुत गंभीर समस्या है हमारे गांव में कुल 50 घर की बस्ती है जिसमें मात्र एक ही हैंड पंप है और वो भी लाल पानी निकल रहा है Once the report is recorded it is routed through a messaging service to a group of volunteer editors who receive them as emails with audio mp3 files attached अभी हम जीमेल को यूज कर रहे हैं वी यूज जीमेल वी हैव अ गूगल ग्रुप of all the moderators whenever a new message is recorded the server generates an email and we all receive it the email has an mp3 file demographic details of the caller date time duration and the telecom circle where the call was made from using freely available software like audacity these mp3 files are verified and enhanced for audio clarity Moderators listen to the recordings and write their comments. We give details of the person who's called, the name of their village, state and what their problem is. If all the relevant information is there, we forward it. If it's incomplete, we mention that and write that someone has uh, tried to record a message but either the call got cut or uh, he was unable to give complete information. Then the moderators call that person back and uh, instruct them to record their message again correctly. Once the report is checked, both for content and quality, it is uploaded back into the CG Net News and Current Affairs Network. Editors also translate reports from local languages to Hindi or English so that it can have a wider audience through avenues like their website. By these simple ICT tools, Citizens have transformed into citizen journalists. So we receive uh, around one uh, impact a day now. Two days back, there was a story from village saying we don't have school. Then somebody from Hyderabad heard that story and started following up. Uh, this is from Jharkhand. And now there is a uh, order to start a school. In Odisha Sundargarh village, some elephants went on a rampage and uh, destroyed several homes. A local activist, Charmani, spoke to the villagers and uh, recorded this news. And uh, we played this news item on uh, CGNet. The BBC picked this story up and broadcasted it. The impact was that now an elephant corridor is being discussed in that area and the villagers whose homework wrecked are getting 3 lakh rupees each as compensation and few other facilities. 
Nearly 1500 calls come in per day now to hear and to record stories. The success of this network has spurred a digital movement in the region. One, where a fresh crop of CG Netswara reporters, editors and social change makers is being trained. आपका संदेश रिकॉर्ड करने के लिए एक दबाए एक दबाए संदेश सुनने के लिए दो दबाए और संदेशों से हुए असर को जानने के लिए नंबर तीन दबाए अब हमने मिस कॉल किया था अब ये कॉल आया अब हम लोगों को क्या करना है सुनना है तो ये नंबर क्या दबाया दो सबसे पहले कैसे वो वी टीच देम how to express themselves, how to conduct interviews. Then we explain that they have to give a missed call on the CG Net Swara number. When they get a call back, they can hear the recorded news. We teach them how to record the news, what the problem is, when it happened, who's the responsible authority for the issue, what is their contact number. लगाना है लगाना सीजी नेट नंबर लगाना लगाना है लगाना सीजी नेट नंबर लगाना एक नंबर का बटन दबाना एक नंबर का बटन दबाना अपनी समस्या को पूरा बताना अपनी समस्या को पूरा बताना आखिर में एक दबाना सीजी नेट नंबर लगाना Community and communication are linked. If you have better communication, you will have a better community. If you have a democratic communication platform, you will have a democratic uh, community. For the local tribes of Chhattisgarh, centuries-old oral traditions have now found a 21st century avatar. Further south, in Telangana, a group of women aren't just finding their voices, they are amplifying them for broadcast across villages. Pastapur village in Telangana is home to a radical new experiment in democratizing communication media. Here, the Deccan Development Society, or DDS, is empowering women from backward communities by training them to run their own media outlets and broadcast information relevant to them. We said that there must be a people's media attempt from us. Somewhere along the line, I was also very angry with the professional media that it was treating people only as consumers of media and never as producers of media. And therefore, we had to reverse this whole trend, whole thinking. Think that people can become producers of media and when and if they become that, they will be very powerful media people and what they will say will be very authentic. In 2001, DDS launched the Community Media Trust or CMT to be operated entirely by the women of the region. One of the first mediums they chose was radio. Welcome to Sangham Radio, where women are overcoming the barriers of gender, caste and poverty to talk about what matters most to them. Every evening, for about two hours, when villagers are free from domestic and farm duties, they turn on their radios to listen to shows with topics ranging from child care and maternal health to local farming markets, soil fertility and water management, alternate livelihoods and biodiversity. In doing so, Sangam Radio has become India's first all-women-run community FM radio station. How has a group of marginalized women become one of the most inspirational success stories in India's media landscape? Join us after the break to know more. In Telangana's Pastapur village, Sangam Radio is making waves by becoming the first all-women community FM radio station in India. 
But realizing this, ICT Dream was not one that involved high costs or even high technology. Right from the beginning, we thought that our technology in radio should be such that A, it must be very economical, B, it must be handled easily by um, non-literate communities or semi-literate communities. Sir, I the technology is low-tech. A 5-mic setup allows up to 40 people to gather in the recording booth. The audio files are processed with digital audio editors. Digital audio editing software helps clean up and boost audio files, which can then be edited for content. Thanks to freely available softwares like Audacity and Wavelab, Sangham Radio is able to prepare its programs for broadcast at extremely low costs. Once a program is prepared, it's sent out across FM bands using a 50 watt transmitter that fans out over 30 kilometers and 150 villages. Community radio station MO. Community radio station is for people, dependent on these people and works for these people. The other stations like FM, they earn money out of it. There's a lot of difference between these two. They are doing for their livelihood. But here, we think about everybody's livelihood. We should stand on our own feet. So that's how we work for. Today, nearly 6,000 women are stakeholders in Sangam Radio at a nominal monthly fee of 5 rupees. This enormously successful ICT experiment has fueled the next big step for DDS's Community Media Trust. And this time, it's about transforming marginalized women into filmmakers. It all began when a group of 10 women received a crash course in filmmaking at the DDS-run Community Media Trust. They were taught the basics of how to use both low-end cameras like TVR-1000 and high-end cameras like Canon XL-IS. They were also taught how to edit on software like Final Cut Pro used by the best filmmakers across the world. We used to train two days in a month and also they would go back and practice it. And uh, they adapted the techniques, you know, for example, the language that they used, the kind of skills that they negotiated with each other, all these made it very, very worthwhile. With little formal training and no preconceived notions about how a film is made, the women went about devising their own cinematic language. Today, their work is recognized the world over and most importantly right at home where it is leading to a social transformation. The video production center has made more than 100 short films, several of which have been broadcast on national television channels as news features. Films have also been shown in international pharma exchanges for mutual learning and in film festivals. No longer is poverty, gender or caste bias holding them back. The tools of ICT have helped them overcome. The first thing is to have faith in your communities. And second is to dispense with this overemphasis on literacy. And trust that people have knowledge, people have the capacity and they know how to communicate and they know what to communicate. So give them the tools, give them the radio, give them the microphone, give them the cameras and they, they would be ready to do their own media. It may not be glitzy, but it will be a media which has a soul. With initiatives like the Community Media Trust fostering social equality using ICT, other groups across India are using technological tools to bring about economic equality. In the small town of Chanderi in Madhya Pradesh, there's another digital movement reviving a centuries-old tradition. 
Join us after the break to see how ICT has brought back hope and prosperity for the Weaver community. Throughout India, in ways big and small, digital movements for social change are having a huge impact. Chanderi in Madhya Pradesh is one such place. Nestled in the Vindhyas, Chanderi is home to the Bunkar community, keepers of a weaving tradition that goes back over seven centuries. But today, this tradition is under threat. Weavers are not earning adequate returns. Younger generations are moving away from the craft to earn better livelihoods. It was to bridge this gap that the Digital Empowerment Foundation, or DEF, launched the Chanderia Initiative in 2009. Earlier, designs for saris were made manually on graph paper by designers. Then it was weaved. Today the designing is done on the computer. To aid this process, Chanderia was started. DEF sought a simple ICT solution to this debilitating problem. Computer-aided design. Computer-aided design is a revolutionary concept that has, in recent times, allowed designers, artists, and architects to transform the creative process. It allows the designer to execute an idea in 2D or 3D virtual space before it is actually built, be it a building, a car or any other product. In the digital world of Chanderia, craftsmen use software like JackDraw to not only improve speed but also gain precision and quality. Here. Traditional motifs can be tested, altered and improved in the virtual space without spending real-world resources. The Chanderia initiative is also bringing ICT to the looms. Traditionally, Chanderi silks and saris are woven by rows of jacquard looms where weavers use special punched cards arranged in a sequence to guide threads along a specific design. DEF is transforming it with 21st century digital technology. We design on the software and then open it here on QuickCard. We check that it's OK and then give a command to start punching. It used to take 8 to 12 days to punch the cards by hand. Now, we can do it in 1 to 2 hours. Software like QuickCard has led to an upswing in weavers' incomes. But perhaps the most effective tool has been the internet itself, which has allowed Chanderi's exquisite products to reach across the globe all thanks to the Chanderia online store. Thanks to DEF's ICT interventions, incomes have shut up. Hope springs again in Chanderi's weaving community that is empowering itself with new age solutions. And it's hope that's beginning to bloom across some of India's most disenfranchised communities. All thanks to the democratizing power of information and communication technology. Please send your suggestions and comments to Vigyan Prasar, A50, Institutional Area, Sector 62, Noida, 201-309. You can also email us at info at vigyanprasar.gov.in.